If you have neck or radiating pain down your arm, or back pain with radiating pain down your leg, well, in this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about nerve recovery. Whenever a nerve is compressed, there are three main things that tend to recover, or what we expect to cover with the operation. The first thing that usually gets better is pain. Any electrical sensations, any sharp, stabbing type pain that radiates down your arm or your leg, this is usually the first thing that gets better once we take the pressure off of the nerve. The second thing that gets better is any type of weakness. If you're unable to move your arm fully or unable to move your foot or your leg, this may take time. It all depends on how long that nerve has been compressed. If that nerve has been compressed for six months, it may take six months before that nerve wakes up and also starts to recover, regain some function in your arm or your leg. The third thing and the final thing that recovers after nerve compression or nerve injury is numbness. Numbness is very unpredictable. I can never tell when that nerve will wake up. Well, these are the three things that we expect to happen once we take the pressure off of a nerve. The pain usually gets better first, the second thing that improves is weakness, and the last thing that recovers is numbness. Hope this video helps you guys. Thank you for watching, we'll see you next time.